Despite Victor Wembanyama's incredible play this season, the San Antonio Spurs have been terrible. But this was expected. They just got the number one pick. Nobody thought they were going to go win the championship this year. But despite it being so early in Wemby's career, it's clear he has a will to win. He wants to go out there and compete for NBA championships, and he just can't do that right now in San Antonio. So today, I'm going to be trading Victor Wembanyama. Now, obviously, this is something that would never happen in real life. But we're here in 2K where anything is possible, so I'm going to make this move happen. I saw a comment on one of my videos recently talking about how crazy it would be if Steph and Wemby played together. So I think you can see where I'm going with this. Wembenyama is coming to Golden State. The Warriors do actually have some good young pieces that they could offer to San Antonio in a trade, like Jonathan Kuminga and Moses moody i'm also gonna throw in three first round picks to make this deal even better for san antonio now even with this i don't think san antonio would pick up the phone for an offer but we're gonna make it happen when Binyama is headed to golden state i'm gonna have draymond green go back to power forward and have Wemby run center the Wemby steph pick and roll is going to be lethal but that's enough talking let's get into the simulation and see if Wemby and curry can win a championship season is wrapped Giannis is mvp Wemby ended up winning rookie of the year as he averaged 20 and 10 he also won dpoy as a rookie he he was even on the all NBA second team and we ended up winning 46 games and because the Western Conference is so competitive that was only good enough for the play in tournament. Hopefully we can make it out the play in round one we got the king and it looks like we'll take care of Sacramento an 11 point win in this one as Wiggs goes off for 29 Wemby gives us 27 Curry only had 12 it's whatever though that was good enough for us to punch our ticket to the playoffs where we're taking on OKC in the first round you guys know what that means we got Chet versus Wemby here in round one game number one of the series goes to us they're gonna take game two we end up winning game three and they win game four so we're all tied up headed in to a big game five and oklahoma city thunder came to play in the big game and we did not and old chris paul was our leading scorer come on now guys we gotta be better than that shea gave us 38 Wemby only 15 curry only 18 so we are facing elimination in round one against the thunder I know Wemby doesn't want to go out to Chet Holmgren in the first round. There we go. We get a game six win. Steph Curry with 33. Wemby 16 and 16. And now we're headed to a winner go home game seven. Either our season will be over or we'll continue our run. And it looks like this one's coming down to the wire. So we got to jump in. It's a five point game. Less than two minutes to go. OKC has the ball. So we're going to need to get some stops. But I think Wemby will be able to help us play some good defense. Shea Gilgis Alexander has the ball. He gets the screen from Chet, dumps it down to Holmgren. Good defense from Looney, and he grabs the board. The lineup we have on the floor right now is insane, by the way. We have like four centers and then Steph Curry. Trace Jackson Davis has it. David, it's going to find its way to Curry, and Curry hits a three. And just like that, we're back in this game. Shea has the ball. He goes to the basket, and he's fouled. You can't do too much about that. Shea is really good at getting to the line. First one for SGA is good. Second one for Shea is also good. Down by four, a little over a minute to go here. Steph has it at the top of the key. He gets the screen from Draymond. Curry gonna pull another three, and he misses. Now Shea Gilgis Alexander has it for the Thunder. SGA going to the basket. Bag work. Oh, that was tough. And Shea is going to get the two to go. It's not looking good here. We're down by six. We need a three ball. Wemby sets it up for Curry. Steph, step back. He doesn't shoot it. He swings it to Clay. Clay going to go to the basket. Oh my goodness. Chet Holmgren just erased Clay Thompson's shot. Look at the replay. Oh my goodness. Also, my bad if my voice sounds a little bit like Doc Rivers today. I woke up and my voice was just raspy. I feel fine, but man, my voice is cooked. Anyway, we need a three or our season is probably over. It's going to go into Steph Curry. Curry, he's going to the basket, fakes out Shea. Why didn't he shoot it the first time? What are you doing? Oh, that's probably going to do it. We might be cooked here. It's going to go to Josh Giddy, and now we're fouling. I mean, maybe if Josh misses both, we have a chance. He hits the first. 
We just got gamed by Josh Giddy. I'm out of here, bro. No way Josh Giddy scored 32 on us. Oh, this was a terrible game from our team. Curry only 18. Round one overall was solid for Steph, but he sold in game seven low key. And speaking of selling, come on, Wemby. We need more than 10 out of you. Overall, though, his first season was incredible. But it's going to end early. We lose in the first round. Big booty retired. Despite the loss last year, I'm hopeful we can get better this season. We'll have a full year of Wemby and Steph. And also, Wemby Nyama is up to a 93. The rest of the team kind of sucks, but maybe the CPU will make some trades that can help us out. Let's get into season number two. Season two is wrapped. Shout out to the Joker winning MVP. Bronny won rookie of the year really that's actually kind of crazy Wemby DPOY 27 and 12 oh we might have a crazy playoffs this year because Wemby's on a different level all NBA first team oh yeah we won 50 games we're back man Steph Curry put up about 30 a night we were hoping in round number one we got the Dallas Mavericks I never want to face this team in 2k because Luka Doncic is just incredible but hopefully we we can manage to get the job done game number one of the series goes to the Mavs game two is gonna go to us they win game three we win game four setting up a big game five with the series all tied up and this game was close until the fourth quarter where the Mavs put their foot on the gas they had 40 in the fourth we only had 29 Wemby's holding up his end of the bargain 40 and 11 in this one Steph only 18 points come on now Curry Luka didn't even have a crazy game for his standards we gotta win games like these but now we're facing elimination headed into game six and it looks like we're gonna get eliminated by Dallas Luka gave us 54 they need to nerf him in 2k man 31 and 10 from Curry 31 and 8 from Wemby but it's not gonna be enough the Golden State Warriors go down to the Dallas Mavericks. But don't worry, help is on the way. We just signed Cash Money Chris. This isn't an incredible pickup, but it'll help a little bit. He is kind of old. I wish we would have spent our money on somebody a little better with all due respect, but we'll take it. Also, Wemby's up to a 96, so I'm just going to need him to go crazy this season. Let's get into year three. We don't have too much time to win a chip because Steph's kind of old. Another season in the books. Jokic adds another MVP to his resume. Wemby Nyama wins DPOY. The numbers are insane for Wemby. And also, real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far i'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing we're trying to hit 100k by the end of the year anyways Wemby was first team man i'm surprised he didn't win mvp two steals from a guy who's 7-4 is nuts and he also averaged like four blocks which is equally crazy but despite all of that we were a play-in squad we even picked up d loading to come off the bench he gave us 17 a night well hopefully we can at least make it out of the play-in and we lost luckily Steph Curry didn't retire yet. And as Wembenyama approaches his prime, he'll continue to get better and better. So we still have a chance at it. We've just got to be better in the regular season. And also, we got to figure out how to make it out of the first round. Oh no, Chris Middleton's getting old. I think our best chance this year is if the CPU locks in and makes some crazy trades. Because otherwise, outside of Curry and Wemby and like Chris Middleton, this team is pretty bad. Let's get into year four. Another season in the books. Tyrese Halliburton wins MVP. Cam Boozer, rookie of the year over in San Antonio. They're trying to rebound without Wemby. Speaking of Wemby, he wins DPOY. And again, we were a play-in team. 37 wins and we're taking on San Antonio. Oh man, Wembenyama, if you lose right here, it's a bad look. You've got to win this one, Wemby. It's coming down to the wire. We got to hop in. It's Wemby versus his former team. Less than two minutes to go here. We're all tied up. Currently, we have possession of the ball. Wemby isn't in the game right now. He's sitting on the bench. He's not fouled out though, so he should be checking in soon. And he's been playing a pretty good game so far. 23 and 12. Shout out to Bones. Oh my goodness, Bones Highland is ridiculous. Bones Highland's nearly better than Steph Curry at scoring. All right, whatever. Let's get into this game. Steph Curry has the ball here. He's trying to find a lane to the basket. He dumps it down to Looney. And Kavon misses the layup, grabs his own board. It's out to Middleton. Now it goes back to Steph. Curry going to the basket here. Swings it back out to Middleton. Now it goes to PJ. Now it goes to Looney. Kavon back to Washington. Not 
much time left. The mid range is up and it's off. Malcolm Brogdon grabs the board. Now he gives it up to Harrington. Harrington over to Brogdon for San Antonio. Now it goes to Johnson. Jasper Johnson defended by Steph. Gives it back to Malcolm Brogdon. Now it goes to Rasasha who misses a three. Now Steph Curry's bringing it up for the Golden State Warriors. We need a bucket right now. Curry backing down this man is going to get the screen. Steph to the basket. Oh my gosh. Come on, Steph. We're missing layups out here. Now Keldon Johnson has it for the Spurs. He's going to swing it over to Jasper Johnson. Now it goes to Malcolm Brogdon. Brogdon going to use the screen from Keldon Johnson. He dumps it down to Rasasha. Rasasha in the post gets the layup to go. Pajemski is too small. Down by two points here. Less than 43 seconds to go. We need to get Wemby in the game, man. Steph Curry has some room in the mid-range. You're selling right now, Steph. Harrington going to give it up to Johnson. Johnson over to Rasasha. Back to Johnson. He's open for a layup. Thank goodness we called timeout. Wemby was watching his former team cook his current team, but now he's checked in the game. Pajemski over to Curry. Steph is defended by Wallace. He's going to the basket for a layup, and he's fouled. Finally, Steph Curry did something good, man. He was selling. First shot for Curry is good. Second one for Wardell is also good. Now we just need to bank on a missed free throw. Kaysen Wallace is going to the line. He's a good shooter. First one for Wallace is off. Never mind. I said he was a good shooter. He bricked the first free throw. Second one is good. So we can tie it up with the three ball. This is where we need Steph Curry to come through. He pulls the three and misses. Oh my goodness. Now we're sending some bonus to the line. First one for DeMontis is good. At least miss one to make it a little interesting. He makes both. And now we got to get the ball up the floor quick for a three. Curry over to Washington. He fakes a couple times, pulls a three, and misses. Bro, we suck. We're going to have one more chance at it in round two of the play-in. We'll see if we can make it. Bones Highland is the MVP, man. He tried his best. Wemby a good game. Curry, oh my goodness. What is going on with Steph? And now we move on to round two of the play-in tournament where we'll be taking on Sacramento. And we're going to get absolutely destroyed by the Kings. Weminyama 29, 10, and 8, but it's not enough. Are you kidding me? This is the guy who dropped us off again. No playoffs for Wemby and Curry this year. But Steph Curry loves the game too much to retire. He's coming back for another year. Unfortunately, we pretty much did nothing in free agency. Agency. If anything, the team got worse. Wemby's just going to have to have a generational year this year. I need you putting up like 35 a night. Let's get into season number five. Wemby, I said it as a joke. I didn't really think he was going to average 35. Oh my goodness. He never scores like this in the sim, man. I swear. Of course, he also won DPOY. He's won that like every year of his career. What a season for Wemby. But again, we were a play-in team. We even picked up Steph Curry with a 40 inch vertical Lonzo Ball on a minimum contract and that wasn't good enough to secure us a playoff spot. I mean, I guess we'll see if we can make it in. We lost again? Yo, this team sucks. Steph Curry wants to retire. Come back for one more. If we can do something in free agency, maybe we'll have a good season. This offseason, we picked up the greatest passer of all time, Michael Porter Jr. Unfortunately, that was about it. Wemby, I'm going to need you to average like 40 this year, okay? If you can do that, maybe we'll win 10 games. Victor Wembenyama won DPOY, but we ended up missing out on the play in only 37 wins. And Steph Curry is out of here. He retired. I don't know how we traded for Siakam, but now that Steph's retired, it's safe to say that Wemby's probably better off staying in San Antonio. He racked up a lot of accolades, but no rings with Curry. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.